Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Have you ever stepped on court and really struggled with your timing and you're not sure why? Maybe it's a new surface or a new playing opponent and you're just not used to their shots and you can't time it right. Well, in today's video, I'm going to give you three things that you can focus on that will instantly improve your timing and get you hitting the ball a lot crisper. Now, tip number one is all to do with the preparation phase of your shot, whether that's a forehand or a backhand. And we're looking in particular at when you start to take the racket back in relation to where the ball is on the court. So for many club players, um, this could be anywhere between the ball coming over the net and the ball bouncing on your side of the court. Uh, and therefore it's a little bit late and can um, not only cause our timing to be later but can also cause our positioning to be wrong and not give us enough time to be able to get to the correct position for the shot now the professionals are very quick at doing this and that's perhaps because they've got less time to prepare uh, and play their shot because of the speed in which they play points um, but also this is really key to buy them more time so that they can make a um, better decision on their shot and also play the best quality shot that they can. In particular I want you to look at when you might turn your shoulders for the shot. So if I was hitting a forehand it is when I take my racket back and you can see that my upper body is turned and if it was a backhand it would be when I take my racket back here um, again when my shoulders turn. So I want you to look at seeing if you can prepare the racket as soon as you know which shot or which side of the body it is going to. The professionals manage this before the ball even crosses the net and therefore that initiates the feet and they have more time to get into position. Now, there are ways to do this. You can look at certain cues of your opponent. It might be um, the way they shape up to the ball, where their racket faces when they are making contact with the ball. And these will give you little ideas of where the shot might go to next and therefore you can start to prepare a little bit earlier and anticipate the ball. Also it might be uh, based on where you've hit the ball so if you hit the ball deep to their backhand and you know how they like to play you might know that they play cross court 90% of the time on that particular shot so therefore you can set up for your backhand or an inside out forehand um, knowing full well where the ball go. So if you find you're warming up against the opponent or maybe you're in the early stages of a match and you're just not timing the ball right, I want you to focus on what point you're taking your racket back in relation to the ball. If you notice that it's getting a little bit closer towards the bounce on your side or um, as it's just crossed the net, can you get it back earlier? Tip number two is all to do with your footwork. The quicker you can move, um, to the ball and the earlier you move towards the ball then obviously again it's that word time you're creating lots of time um, and you're not only going to create time you're going to be balanced and therefore in the right position to play the shot now this is really important if you're striking the ball not quite well maybe late on a particular day just by focusing your attention on your feet trying to make more steps quicker steps adjustment steps um, all those things are going to help you get in the right place and therefore make sure your contact point is in the correct place too. There was a stat that I saw that Iga Schwantek, she takes between 11 and 12 steps um, between each shot that she plays. Um, now I had a look at one of my videos um, uh, to see how many steps I take um, in matches between shots and I was taking about eight. So she's taking four steps more than me and um, that shows that she's getting um, into, probably into a better position she's really fussy with adjusting her body um, therefore she's balanced and in the right place to make contact with the ball that's tip number two another way to um, improve your timing is to really focus on your feet make more steps make quicker steps make adjustment steps and that will help improve your contact point and timing the tip number three is contact point now I find if I focus on my contact point and in particular making sure that I contact the ball out in front of myself then my timing improves massively now of course the contact point is a product of your preparation and your footwork so if you're preparing later if your feet aren't moving as quickly as they could then it is most likely that your contact point will be in the wrong place or too late this is something you can focus on alone to help improve your tennis and that is trying to contact the ball out in front of you and in particular at the height that you like the most. So for example, me as a semi-Western player, my contact point tends to sit a little bit above waist height, 
but a little bit below chest height and that is where I like to play most of my shots. Um, now if you are um, a western grip on your forehand then you might find that your contact point is a little bit higher um, and of course if you're an eastern or a continental then your contact point will be a little bit lower. Um, so that is for you to work out. So just to recap guys, if you are struggling um, with your timing on court, those are the three things that you can focus on. Number one, prepare as early as possible. As soon as you know which side it's going to, can you get your shoulders turned? Can you take your racket back nice and early? Number two, can you start initiating your footwork sequence earlier? Can you have quicker steps, more steps and um, more adjustment steps around the ball before you make contact with it. And number three, to help improve your timing is to focus your attention on your contact point. Can you get your contact point out in front of you um, and at the perfect height for you? Now, of course, you could focus on one of them and that would make a diff big difference. But if you focus on all three, I guarantee you and I promise you that it will improve your timing no matter what opponent you're playing against. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helps um, turn a bad day on court into a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Cheers.